A pleasure to me all at last. And now, time for some more fantasy model action. Crescendo is basically up next. This nice X Racers edition with the number 03 painted on the hood. This amazing sort of blue color, complete with some clear blue wheels, some nice silvery pieces on the bottom right here. A 2017 model like this with an adjustable splitter that can allow for easy cruising through loops and other such inversion based track builder kits. I'd say Crescendo by any means is a pretty enjoyable model for something like this that's been around for five years by this point out in the marketplace. This exact version I got was brand new at the time, an X Racers version of this model, whereas in previous years I have actually owned a Super Chromes edition. Unfortunately that one's gone now, so now I have an X Racers version. So I feel like that there's not a whole lot left I can highlight on this one, but I will at least admit the incredible aerodynamics, nice slim profile, and some pretty lightweight characteristics, aside from a metal base, they can certainly guarantee that this model might actually do well on the track. Of course, not all of these things are the case. So that's just probably what that is. But hey, at least we do have ourselves fantasy models and realistic models that we can all agree on are great additions to the series. Whether we like them or not, it's just a matter of personal opinion. But I just go only by the facts. I label these things, I talk a bit about them, about their history in my collection, and I just move on. Get these episodes done as quickly as I can. For the most part, because of how hard my work is. But if you want to see more, go down to my channel. Then make sure that you like, subscribe, comment, follow me on social media, and stay on the Hollywood side.